Hello, I'm Dr. Cherie Dursum of Integrative Medicine of Arizona in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm going to talk to you today about Alzheimer's disease and the Dell Bredesen program. Traditionally, you might present to your primary care doctor or bring your spouse or loved one with concerns about recent memory issues, whether that be that you know, can't find my keys all the time or I uh, drove somewhere and got lost, couldn't remember anybody's name. Um, those kinds of things are early symptoms of that. And you might, uh, there might be further testing that is done, but usually what we're trained to do in regular medicine is just kind of um, wait for that or encourage patients to get a lot of rest or eat healthy. Um, and then once big memory problems start happening, then we send the patient to a neurologist and usually there's a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease and maybe medication is given and then we just kind of wait for the process to roll itself out and the patient loses their memory, uh, which is very difficult to watch as a family member and hard to accept as a patient um, that's being told that. So we do have some answers now that have been shown to reverse memory decline and um, early Alzheimer's. Dale Bredesen is a neurologist who has been doing research on reversing cognitive decline for quite some time now. He published his book, The End of Alzheimer's, um, in which he uh, described his research on 200 patients with early signs of Alzheimer's and cognitive decline. Some of these patients were even at the point where they had to quit their job and they weren't functioning well in, in regular everyday activities. By looking at Alzheimer's in a different way, Dr. Bredesen has opened a whole new door of treatment and um, the possibility of actually reversing cognitive decline, which is what he has seen in the initial 200 patients that he did research on and his continued research. What he describes is that we were looking at Alzheimer's as if there is only one cause. Um, maybe that's the deposition of amyloid protein, which we usually only find after the patient has passed away and done autopsy on the brain. But what he has described as that maybe that amyloid is actually a protective, uh, has a protective function in the brain, and that some things that we are doing in our life or the life that we're leading or our genetic predisposition is driving the deposition, the increased deposition of amyloid. If we look at some of those environmental factors and lifestyle um, practices that we are doing that drive the deposition of amyloid and or um, increase the inflammation in the brain that is uh, furthering cognitive decline, if we can reverse that, then maybe we can reverse the process that is causing Alzheimer's in the first place. Dr. Bredesen describes the 37 holes in the roof or the 37 causes of, basically causes of inflammation in the brain that are increasing uh, cognitive decline or increasing our risk for cognitive decline. Things like high blood sugar, um, high cholesterol, um, a diet that's high in sugars and complex uh, carbohydrates and refined sugars. Um, also lack of exercise, lack of sleep, increased stress, all of those things that we always talk about in integrative and functional medicine are also things that are driving Alzheimer's disease. So with the RECODE program, we address the factors that are driving inflammation or creating an environment that is going to make it more likely that a patient has progression of cognitive decline or progression of Alzheimer's. Those things include lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise. We optimize sleep. We are making sure that if there are any nutrients missing that we are replenishing those and looking at the genetic factors that might predispose a patient to Alzheimer's disease, not only the APOE4 gene, but uh, other factors that decrease a patient's ability to get rid of toxins, um, decrease a patient's ability to generate the neurotransmitters they need for optimal brain function. We're also looking for things that are not normally addressed in regular medicine, such as heavy metal toxicity or mold or Lyme exposure, or even a high degree of uh, viral titers in the body. Those things are drivers of inflammation, which are in turn going to increase uh, the cognitive decline in a patient or put the patient at more risk to develop that. Dale Bredesen proposes that Alzheimer's has more than one cause. Many times in regular medicine we think of each disease as having one cause. But with Alzheimer's it's really a multifactorial um, 
cause causation of the disease. And so his approach with the recode program is to look at all 37 holes in the roof is what he calls it. There are the 37 uh, factors that can cause inflammation in the brain and drive increased cognitive decline. We address all of those causes and plug all 37 holes at once that we are really going to see a change in somebody's memory and that we really might see reversal in that cognitive decline. Our current medical system addresses maybe one or two of those holes in the roof that Dr. Bredesen refers to. Whereas an integrative and functional medicine approach, which we do through the RECODE program, addresses all 37 holes. When choosing a provider to address memory issues or early cognitive decline, you want to make sure you're choosing someone who is officially trained to provide the Dell Bredesen RECODE program. I am certified through the Institute for Functional Medicine to provide that RECO program and to address all 37 holes in the roof, which can become quite extensive. My staff and I work as a team. I have a dietitian that I work with who is also certified in the Dale Bredesen program. And we here at Integrative Medicine of Arizona address all facets of memory decline. If you are worried about memory problems for yourself or someone that you love, the Dale Bredesen Recode program is a great place to start to evaluate your risks and start the preventative steps to reverse or stop cognitive decline.